Hey, babe, did something happen last night? I had a late work night and ended up crashing on the couch. But when I woke up, all my stuff was moved to the guest room. What's going on? You'll have to sleep in the guest room for a bit. It's closer to the living room, so you won't end up napping on the couch when you're tired. It's just more convenient. Wait, what? I work remotely sometimes, and it's natural to have late nights once in a while. This is my first time in months. Why did you move my things? Well, I need your room for my mom. She's coming later today, and she'll be staying in your room. What? Nicole's coming today? And you didn't even tell me? I didn't see the need to. The point is she's coming, and we need to get everything ready before she arrives. No time for questions. And you didn't leave me any money for groceries. How am I supposed to shop without any cash? Can't you use your own money? No. I'm not using my money for your groceries. Consider it a loan. I'll pay you back later. You never paid me back for previous loans. I'm not doing this for you or your mother. You've never really liked my mom, have you? How can you say that? I've tried so hard to get her to like me, but she's never thought I was good enough for you. I've been insulted and looked down upon. You might have forgotten, but I haven't. She almost got into a fight with me the last time she visited. If I hadn't held back, who knows what would have happened? See, that's the problem. You're always so impatient, never stopping to assess the situation. Sure, she's been rude, but you also disrespected her. It was a two-way street. Let's just move on from the past. Move on? It's not surprising. You always side with your mom. But I don't get why you're putting her in my room, considering our history. Well, she asked for it. She says the ventilation is better there. You're making a big deal out of this, darling. Just go with it. I want to make my mom happy. She's all I have. I get it, Jack. It's just hard to accept that I have to sleep in the guest room while your mom gets my room. Can't you convince her otherwise? You know the guest room has bad reception. I need to work from there. You have to talk to her. I can't do that. I can't hurt her feelings. What would you do in my shoes? I wouldn't prioritize my mom over my wife. It's like you don't even care about how I feel about all of this. Just stay in the guest room for now. When she leaves, you'll get your room back. And while she's here, please treat her right. It goes both ways, Jack. Jack, you need to talk to your mother. She's been driving me insane since she moved in with us. Come on, we've been having a great time. Can't you see how happy she is? Are you even listening? Nicole has taken over the kitchen. She doesn't let me cook what I want and then calls me lazy. And don't get me started on the TV. She wouldn't let me watch my favorite show last night. She just turned it off and grabbed the remote. Why is she treating me this way? It's not that bad. You might be overreacting. Try to give her a chance. All I want is peace, but your mom is making it impossible. Did you know she's been telling our son Billy lies about me? She told him I don't love him and have another child somewhere else that I love. How could she say that to her grandson? Hold on. That's going too far. You don't need to make up things about my mom just to make a point. You should be more understanding and less stubborn. She's been through a lot since losing my dad, and she hasn't fully recovered. I want to be there for her. It's my duty as her only son. Let's not discuss this anymore, please. All right. It seems like you're not hearing me. Can you at least ask her to lower the volume of her music? I need to focus on my work project. Just let her play her music. You're the one being difficult by trying to stop her from enjoying her time in her son's house. I can't concentrate on all this noise. I think I'll spend the night at my brother's place. I need to finish this work and meet my deadline. Sounds like a good idea. It'll give her more time to bond with Billy. Don't rush back, Stacy. Jack? What's going on? I came back from my brother's place and the house was empty with everyone's bags packed. Where is everyone? We're on vacation, babe. Just a spontaneous three-day trip to unwind and relax. 
Why am I just hearing about this now? It was a last minute decision, and you weren't home at the time. We couldn't wait for you to return from your brother's place. Hold on, Jack. Where are my credit cards? I can't find them in the usual spot. Oh, I took them to pay for the vacation. How else would we cover the expenses? What? You're using my money for a trip without my consent? Why would you do that? Relax, I'll pay you back. You never pay me back when you borrow money. It's frustrating that you're using my money for a vacation you're excluding me from. How is that fair, Jack? You're just being inconsiderate. I've been spending a lot since my mom came to stay. I've been trying to make her comfortable, and this is just a small favor I'm asking. You're being selfish. I've been the one covering most expenses since Nicole arrived. Jack, I just got a notification about a significant purchase you made. Why is it so expensive? I had to buy some clothes for her along with shoes and bags. These are some really pricey items. Your spending will set me back quite a bit. Why are you doing this to me? You've never even gifted me a dress, let alone take this much money. You need to stop being jealous of my mom. It's ridiculous. She's not your rival. I can't be with you if I feel like my mom competes with my wife. So you see everything I say as jealousy? Yeah, you sound jealous, whether you admit it or not. Fine then. Take care of Billy and keep him safe. That's better. I can't believe this, Jack. Nicole posted a video of Billy swimming. Why would you allow that? The chemicals in the pool can trigger his asthma. You need to get him out of the pool immediately. He's fine. Don't overreact. My mom is just teaching him a few swimming tricks. This isn't about her skills. The pool is bad for his health. You're putting him in danger. And you know it. Get him out now. Are you implying that I don't know how to take care of our son? Everything here is safe. You're being whiny because you weren't part of the trip. Get him out of the pool, Jack, please. He's under my mom's supervision. Don't worry. Your mom doesn't want me to talk to him. I've been trying to reach him for hours, and there's no answer. I'm certain she's involved. She's the one who lied to him about me and is now keeping him from me. You see this, but you're not doing anything. How much longer is this going to continue? Jack? Answer me! Stacy, it's Billy. He has an asthma attack, and I need to buy an inhaler. What? Why don't you have his inhaler with you? Why didn't you pack it? I can't find it. I must have forgotten. I'm going to get a new one. Hurry to the nearest pharmacy. They should have it. I can't believe this. Make sure our son is safe, Jack. I knew this vacation was a bad idea from the start. But you never listened to me. Let me know once he's stable. And you all need to get the next flight back home. Jack, I can't take this anymore. You really need to talk to your mom. I've been holding back because I respect her. But it's getting harder every day. I'm really not in the mood for this right now. Can it wait? No, it can't wait. We need to address this now. Why is your mom blaming me for ruining her vacation? It's been over two weeks since you guys came back, and it feels like she's out to punish me for something I didn't do. Come on, Stacy. I was there, so I remember it clearly. You did cut our vacation short using Billy's accident as an excuse. It seemed like jealousy. Jealousy? Seriously? Our son had a life-threatening asthma attack because of your and Nicole's negligence. I was frightened for him, Jack. He was terrified. And it was the first time he had an attack without his inhaler nearby. Things could have gone really wrong. So, it was you and Nicole who ruined the vacation, not me. You need to talk to your mom because I won't tolerate this for much longer. And, can you believe she's been bringing a strange man into our home? That's Boris. He's not a stranger, he's her boyfriend. 
They met during our vacation, and they would have spent more time together if you hadn't cut it short. Well, I'm happy for them, but can't they meet somewhere else? I don't feel comfortable with him here. Can you give my mom a break? Everything she does seems to get on your nerves. You should be happy for her that she's giving love another chance after losing my dad. She's opening her heart again, and you should support her, not try to stop it. Love, huh? I'll be honest, Jack. That guy doesn't seem like he genuinely loves your mom. He doesn't come across as trustworthy. He's much younger than her and keeps asking for money. Just mind your own business, okay? You don't know anything about their relationship. I trust my mom's judgment, and if she wants to be with Boris, I'll support her wholeheartedly. Your opinion doesn't hold much weight in this matter. You're a witch. I should have known you were jealous of me. First, you tried to turn my son against me, but then that didn't work. You're trying to steal my man. What on earth are you talking about? I'm talking about your disgraceful attempts to take Boris away from me. Do you think it was going to be a secret forever? Nicole, I have no idea what you're accusing me of. He told me everything, okay? He told me how you were always flirting with him, giving him seductive looks. You're trying to cheat on my son with my boyfriend. Shame on you. My God, how can you accuse me of such a thing? I would never do that. I would never betray my commitment to your son. Don't deny it. I saw you yesterday. You were wearing those sexy shorts and prancing around when Boris came to visit. You were trying to seduce him, right? Where are you coming up with these crazy ideas? I was already wearing those shorts when Boris arrived. It had nothing to do with him. Nothing, huh? Then why didn't you change into something else when he came? If there wasn't any ulterior motive, why did you let him see you like that? This is my home, Nicole. I do what I want because I want to. Not to impress your boyfriend. Trust me, there are so many other things on my mind these days. Talking to your boyfriend is not even on the list. You're a liar. I've always suspected you were a cheater, and this just confirms it. Are you serious? Are you kidding me right now? My son can't be with someone who is hurting him. You're cheating on my son. I'm sure of it. What do you mean, Nicole? Answer me, Nicole. Jack, it's already late. Why haven't you returned home yet? Did something happen at work? Where are you right now? And when are you coming back? I'm at a friend's place for now, and I'll be staying the night here. I need some time to think things through before deciding on my next steps. What do you mean by the next course of action? Did I do something to upset you? Why are you sleeping outside tonight? Just go to bed and leave me alone. I don't have time to talk to a cheater. A cheater? My god. Did Nicole talk to you? Oh, so it's true then. No, it's not. I would never do that to you. You really have no shame, do you? And of all people, it was my mother's boyfriend? I've always known you were jealous of her. You've always tried to take everything she had. Just leave me alone. I'm tired. Jack, please. Let's talk about this. Your mother is lying about me. I never cheated on you. Not with Boris or anyone else for that matter. Jack, answer me. Jack. Jack, we really need to have a serious conversation. I admit I've had issues with your mother in the past, but you have to believe me when I say I'm not cheating on you. Our conversation last night shook me to the core and I couldn't sleep at all. I spent the entire night tossing and turning. This morning, I had to call in sick at work because my mind was in turmoil. I would never, under any circumstances, flirt with Boris. You have to trust me. Besides, I have a bad feeling about him. I think he's up to something. And your mom should be cautious around him. So this was all part of your plan, huh? 
You wanted to paint Boris as the villain, so I'd never suspect that you actually wanted to be with him. I'm starting to think that your dislike for him was an act too. No, Jack. I'm being completely honest. Why is it so hard for you to believe me? Stacy, I want to have a DNA test done for Billy. What? It's come to this? Did your mother put you up to this? It's come to this, Stacy. I don't know how long you've been cheating on me. And I need to be sure that Billy is actually my son. No, no. This can't be happening. You're letting your mother manipulate you. Can't you see that she's trying to tear us apart? No, you're the one who's doing that. Remember, you and your ex were still friends when we first got together. He even attended our wedding and Billy's baby shower. I didn't think much of it at the time, but now it all seems suspicious. My mom even mentioned that Billy doesn't look anything like me and that he behaves differently. Want to take a guess at who he resembles and acts like? Your ex! Jack, I promise you, none of these accusations are true. We've been together for eight years and I've never been with another man. My ex attended those events because, even after our breakup, we remained friends. Nothing has ever happened between us since you and I got together, let alone after we got married. It's hard for me to trust your word when you've managed to deceive me for so long. I just want a DNA test to clear things up, and the results will help me decide how to proceed. Fine. If you want a DNA test, you'll get it. I've put up with a lot over the years, and it's clear you've never really valued me or put me first. You've always prioritized your mother over me, even when she was clearly in the wrong. If you go through with this, then it's over between us. I'm going to file for divorce, and you better think long and hard about your decision. I trust my mom, okay? She would never lead me astray. But you, on the other hand? I can't say the same about you. You're a liar and a cheat. Your threats won't work on me. It's clear that you have something to hide. And I'm going to find out. You bet. You didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> Jack signed those divorce papers pretty fast. He couldn't get, wait to get away from you. You thought you could force him to stay in loveless marriage, but he proved you wrong. We were doing just fine until you showed up and ruined everything. I hope you're happy now. If our marriage was loveless, you managed to suck the life out of it. Anyway, I'm glad he signed the papers quickly. It means the court proceedings won't drag on for long. Cut the act. I know you're hurt, but that's what you get after what you supposedly did to my son. You and I both know I'm innocent of the accusations you made. Then why didn't you fight them, Miss Innocent? You were quick to serve him divorce papers and leave the house. The speed at which you left surprised me. You know what the DNA test might reveal, and you fled to avoid the embarrassment. You might think you're clever, but we're always one step ahead. I bet you're with that ex of yours right now. Hopping from one man to another is all you seem to know. You have no shame. I'm done with this conversation. I have better things to do with my time. As do I. Just make sure to bring Billy tomorrow for the test. Let's put an end to this once and for all. Hi, Stacy. I know it's been a while, and I'm probably the last person you want to talk to right now, but could you please hear me out? I'm not interested in anything you have to say, Jack. Please, don't shut me out. I messed up really, really bad. And I admit it, I've been miserable, Stacy. I've been filled with regret ever since we did the DNA test, and it proved that Billy is truly my biological son. I should have never doubted you. I should never have allowed my mom to get into my head and ruin our marriage. This is partly her fault. If she didn't hate you so much, she wouldn't have gone to such lengths to tear us apart. I can see now why you dislike her. I'm no longer blinded by the fact that she's my mother. Please stop blaming your mom for everything. You're a grown man. You should take responsibility for your own actions. I pleaded with you. Even though I did nothing wrong, all you had to do was trust me, your wife. But you refused. I needed you, and you let me down. 
you shattered the trust we had. And that's not something that can be easily fixed. So go back to your mom. Maybe she'll find a girl she thinks is more suitable for you to marry. Stacy, please. I'm so sorry for everything. I'm a changed man now, I promise. I shouldn't even be talking to you. We're in the middle of a divorce case. So let's end this conversation here. Wait, can't you at least consider my feelings a bit? I've apologized to you countless times. Do you know how hard that is? Come on, just have a heart. If you send me another text, I'll block you. I promise you. Just don't try it. Stacy, please. I need you. My life is a complete mess right now. I don't even know where to start. You were right about Boris being sketchy. He's a fraudster. He wiped out all my mom's savings and maxed out my credit card. Can you believe my mom gave him my password? I'm at a loss here, Stacy. And if that's not bad enough, he emptied my savings and took out loans in my name. I'm drowning in debt, and to top it off, he stole my car, and we haven't seen him since. Wow. Boris really had it out for you. <laughs> How did he manage to take out a loan in your name? Well, he convinced my mom to co-sign. She's my authorized signatory. I can't believe she fell for such a cheap trick. Come on. You fell for an even cheaper trick. Please, Stacy, I need you now more than ever. I'm broke and depressed. Everything is falling apart. I need you to come back to me. I miss you, babe. I miss my son, and I miss my family. Please, just come back to me. Nah, you lost that privilege a long time ago. I gave you so many chances to show you'd stand up for me the same way I stood up for you. But all you did was let me down. You never cared about what happened to me as long as your mother was involved. She could throw me into the fire and you'd let me enjoy the heat because you're her precious son. Well, now your precious mother has cost you everything. So go and be with her. It's just sad that you're only realizing the value of what you had when it's gone. That's what serves you right. You know your mother wasn't treating me well. But you turned a blind eye and let it happen. So now it's my turn to turn a blind eye. Stacy, I'm so sorry for everything. It'll never happen again. You're right. It'll never happen again. I'm done with everything related to you. I'm done with the mental pressure and emotional suffering you and your mom put me through. So go on and live your life as you see fit. Leave me alone. I'm sorry, but it was my mom's fault. It won't happen again. I warned you that the next time you reach out to me, I was going to block you. So goodbye, Jack. See you in court. Hold on, hold on, just listen to me. Stacy, we still have a lot to talk about. Stacy, please! After that, I blocked Jack and Nicole. The divorce went through successfully, and the court ordered Jack to pay me alimony and child support every month. His relationship with his mom went downhill, and they were always arguing. He blamed her for ruining his life, and she was constantly heartbroken, unable to recover from what Boris did to her. Billy, on the other hand, had never been happier. He excelled in school while I made progress in my career. I could finally grow in peace without having to worry about someone else scheming against me. It was an exhilarating feeling. For now, I've decided to stay out of the dating pool. But soon, when I feel my heart is ready for another adventure... I'll jump back in and fall in love.